Today, we are going to be pack-a-punching every single LMG, light machine gun, in Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies history, starting, of course, with WOW, since it's the only map with a pack-a-punch machine. There are four in this game that we've got to tackle. One of them is right in front of us on the wall, the FG-42. Another one is the bar, which is a wall gun on some of the previous maps, but on this map is a box gun, and the other two box guns would be the MG42 and the Browning M1919. The only rule being, there will be no repeats. It has to have its own unique identity and functionality, name, etc. to be considered its own, you know, exclusive to the game. So we're gonna grab, obviously, the Tommy here, as usual, for points. SMGs are always great for starting off because LMGs are hard to access right off the bat. So we're going to have this thing to tie us over and LMGs are really just the opposite spectrum of the SMGs. The SMGs are, you know, small and light and you need to constantly reload them and not a ton of ammo, but you know, good, good for the value. LMGs are the opposite. You know, they're far and few between. They're much bigger, they're bulkier, have a ton of ammo. You need to not reload as frequently, but when you do reload, it, it takes an eternity. These light machine guns are actually, in World of War, technically just labeled machine guns. So, it's a little unique in that regard. The FG-42, as you can see here, not very big, not bulky, not a stereotypical LMG. It's actually very light, could almost be considered an AR SMG size, not a ton in the mag, so... It's a little unique in that regard, and the bar is the same way. This thing is absolutely crocked. Crocked, mate. Check this out. <laughs> Look at the ammo in the bottom corner. It's just like, where is it going? All right. All right. So we're going to take that. We got Pack-A-Punch already open, so... I guess since the MG is so much better, let's just pap this one first, the FG here, so we can maximize our potential. So that's one out of four done. 25% 420 impeller. <laughs> I mean, this rate of fire is just like cocaine doing speed while riding NASCAR, dude. I don't even know what the fuck I just said, but this rate of fire is craziness. Crazy, crazy, craziness. Whip out the good old MG. It's got a pretty good rate of fire, too. This is probably my favorite in the game, to be honest. I mean, this and the Browning are definitely the two. It just melts them like fucking butter. We acquired many a points just there, so we're gonna throw the MG in now as well. Ah, in Custom Zombies, it's called the Hitler's Buzzsaw. Uh, Buzzsaw, that one's way better of a name. This one's Barracuda, F you all. Oh, that's clever. I gotta tell you, man, this strategy is pretty much the strategy people used back in the day. It was camp on the catwalk with an LMG primarily. Now, you could train, obviously, you got the WAF, you got the ray gun, but, you know, the WAF is glitched. The strat was so basic at this time, it's pretty much exactly what you're seeing right now, and what better gun to do it with than this absolute buzzsaw. Just, it's, it's, it's impeccable. It's impeccable. Oh, well, that's just, oh, the greatest sight of all time. So, we got the Browning, the other boss-ass LMG. We want the bar. We want the bar. Oh, well, <laughs> well, all right then. So, the bar is pretty crappy on this round as we speak. The rate of fire is god-awful. It doesn't have a lot in the mag, really not a lot of ammo. The, why this is considered an LMG is just beyond me, to be completely honest. But the bar is the bar. We got that. It's now the Widowmaker. The Browning, just an absolute fucking pleasure. We're gonna, we're gonna do that one right there. And that's all of them. We're gonna go onto the catwalk and try these bad puppies out, though. It's just not a very compelling... This one's not all that compelling. It gets the job done to some extent. It's definitely the worst out of all of them. And then this one, first or second for sure, just rips the room. I like the sight personally, the iron sight here. All right, lads, here we are on five, the Pentagon, baby. I didn't want to do Kino for the third time, so we're mixing it up a little bit. And it's not so bad. I was thinking of a map for Black Ops 1 that wouldn't be so tedious to get to pack a punch. This and Ascension are the other two that come to mind. But Ascension's got space monkeys and I don't want to lose my perks. So here we are. Although we do have the Pentagon Thief to worry about, which is a major benefit and drawback. It's a benefit because we can kill him, get a bonfire sale, or even just a regular fire sale. And that's going to help us get the two box LMGs that we need in this game. The RPK and... 
Good old classic All-American HK-21. I don't know if it's an American gun or not. I'm just saying that. And uh, the drawback, of course, is that he can steal the gun. Just grab this for extra security. <laughs> like, like a condom. 69. I'm just full of great sexual innuendos today. So, uh, you know, we got to get these DEF CONs on. Power's pretty close, too. Not so challenging. The thing that is giving me this overarching anxiety, though, is when Dr. Doofenshmirtz shows up. Okay, perfect. We're gonna try to get a weapon of mass destruction to help us kill the Pentagon thief. That is exactly what I was looking for. Now we're a little bit better equipped to handle this pounding here. Oh my God, and hopefully, you know, we're gonna get a fire sale. There's no way we're gonna get a bonfire sale. Okay, take this, take this, take this. Okay, cool. Reload, run after him. Where'd you go, you little fucking worm? Okay, we didn't get it. We lost our MPL. That is okay. I am still a little bit angry, but it could have been worse. Okay, we got an electric trap bussin'. I can't remember if I'm gonna die if I go in there, but I might have to in a second. Oh God. Wow, 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 wow. That was pretty close. I was trying to get the insta-kill and I ended up doing that instead. It could have been worse. Yeah, okay, all right. Come on, how many mags? Oh, hi. Walk right into that one, douchebag. All right, let's go spin this fire sale. Hopefully this pays off. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Yeah, that, did, that did not pay off. RPK, yes, batch. All right, now let's see if we can get the HK within a reasonable amount of spins here. If not, then I might go grab Mule Kick and prepare for the worst. But if I can get it in a reasonable time here, I might be able to just upgrade them right off the rip. I will take monkeys for sure. Yes! Yes! All right! Well, that's not the gun we need at all, actually. Okay, uh, we're still going to upgrade the RPK right now. You know, nothing special on upgraded. It does get a lot better. I would say out of all of the lackluster BO1 guns, the LMGs and the ARs are definitely by far the best of all the bullet guns. HK! And a headshot! Mmm! Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We might actually even get you-know-who right now. Possibly. Good, 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 good. This is good news. We're going to use our Winter's Howl. Get this bonfire sale. And make sure this thing is nice and ready. Yes! Yes! All right, so here's the HK without double tap. Pretty abysmal rate of fire, but like I said, even so, these are the best guns you're gonna get in this game. We're gonna get a nice $1,000 upgrade here for the H115 oscillator, R115 resonator. Give me, give me it, give me it. Yeah, and we're gonna finish this off with a nice little thirst trap. Oh, there they are. Here, come on in, come on in, guys. Got a little party set up for you. Oh yeah, here we have another stressful game of Origins without actually, you know, using the stabs, which makes this infinitely harder. And the Panzer mercs me every single time, so that's pretty much inevitable. I'm just planting my excuses in advance. We have four LMGs in Black Ops 2 to go for, but first, a brief message from our sponsor over at Manscaped. Tired of those irritating nicks and cuts with your traditional razor? Well, I know I am, and that's why myself and more than 8 million men globally have put their faith in a higher power. Manscaped was kind enough to send me their Performance Package 4.0, and it did not disappoint. It's got everything you need to keep yourself fresh. First and foremost is the Lawnmower 4.0, which comes with a cutting edge blade designed to cause less harm to your balls. An LED light to ensure that. Oh, and it's waterproof. So take it into the shower with you if you'd like. And it is perfect for on the go with its travel lock feature. Tap the button three times and it won't go crazy <laughs> in your luggage. They also come with a crop preserver ball deodorant and a crop reviver ball toner spray, which is a great way to wrap up your routine and have you feeling like a million bucks. And if you want to take it even further, try out their Weed Whacker 2.0. Great for nose and ear hair trimming. It's cordless, rechargeable, and has a battery that lasts upwards of 45 minutes of painless trimming. And when you're all done, you can conveniently place it all in the travel bag and throw on a pair of anti-chafing boxers. So if you want to give it a try and also save some money, use code Tim Hansen, my name, at checkout for 20% off plus free international shipping. 
thank you Manscaped for the opportunity and thank you guys for watching. I love you. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. One of them is exclusive to Origins, the MG0815, which I actually got in the SMG video last week. Oh, perfect. I was going to say I could really use a gun and I really don't have enough in the boxes right here. The stars just aligned for us. What are the odds we get the MG08 on our first spin? <laughs> Spinning the box on Origins has always just felt so bizarre to me. It's just something you don't usually do. Okay, well, this will tie us over. I mean, I guess I kind of take that back. There's plenty of really cool weapons actually in the box, but with the staves and so many of the better guns being on the wall also, it just feels like a no-brainer. Oh, and the Boom Hilda. You know, everyone's usually upgrading the starting pistol and plus the dig sights. So the box on maps like this and Derizen Track with so much at your disposal just feels like an afterthought. But again, when you put a ma wow, that was the entire round. Okay. When you put a map exclusive gun in the box or just on a map in general, it makes it all the better. And we got the Mark II. Well, at least we are probably not screwed when the Panzer shows up. Scorpion Evo. All right. Well, here's for everyone that didn't get to see Scorpion Evo gameplay in the last one because I died putting it in the Pack-A-Punch machine. All right. We got the hammer. That's one of them. Rate of fire is... Oh, not so bad. It's the recoil that kills this gun. It is a recoil machine. It's like impossible to actually fucking hold this thing. It needs a grip. That's what it needs. It needs a grip. Speaking of grip, I need to get a grip here and not die. All right, let's go pop this. I don't think I'm going to need to use the fire sale. I mean, I would like to. I do need to, but I uh, can't actually use it. Gramophone for safekeeping. And what does this thing become? I'm going to guess Sledgehammer. Like the failed COD company. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh! Oh, yes! As we all know, the MG08 exclusive, badass, World War One style LMG. Ton of fucking ammo, ton of damage, not a lot of recoil. Just perfect in every single way. Now, if I could actually... Okay, all right, of course that's going on. This is just a repeat of last time. This is deja vu. This is PTSD. There's a panzer. <laughs> oh man, I made it out just in time. All right, well, I, I swear to God, just like not even three or four rounds ago, I had a panzer and another generator zombie at the same time. This game just can smell when I'm getting close to done with something. They're like, oh man, we gotta throw a wrench in his fucking plans. And to that, I say, fuck you guys. Oh shit. Yeah, look at that. Nuketown is the new vibe. It turns out that the RPD and the LSAT aren't even on Origins. The LSAT is only on this map, Mob of the Dead, and Buried on the Wall. But then it occurred to me that in order to pack a punch on Buried, I have to go to the Witch's Hut. And the RPD, the other gun that we need, isn't even on Buried. The only map that both of them are on is Nuketown in the box. So we're going to be spinning the box a ton. The fire sales are going to help with that. Okay, well, that, that works. We'll take that. Let's do a little bit of display action. Pretty fucking phenomenal. Probably the best LMG in this game. I would say. Oh my god, yes. Jug. Run, 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 run. We take no more chances. Grab that shit. Almost exactly enough to pack a punch of the LSAT here. We need some points for the box, so. Mmm. I really like the sight. A little target locker. It's pretty fucking dope. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, dad. All right, well, we got it. RPD is pretty fucking cool. Rate of fire is insane. We're going to go over to the yellow house over here. Something else just fell by the process of elimination. That was speed cola right there. Doesn't matter, though. We're about to be out of here. What is this thing? The re relativistic punishment device. Okay. It's got a lot of fucking ammo. Damn, dude. It's got like 900. Here we are under Eisendrack. The greatest map ever. We're going to be doing four LMGs. They're all in the weapons kits. There aren't a ton in this game that aren't repeats, of course. And yes, I'm running Immolation. I'm only allowing myself one Mega Gobble Gum per vid. So we got the Dingo, the BRM, the 48 Dredge, and the Gorgon to upgrade. Pretty easy. And the reason why I chose Derizen Jack specifically is because there is a hidden wall buy for one of those LMGs. I'm sure some of you guys watching this know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe, if not, you'll learn something today. But yeah, it, very rarely can you buy an LMG on the wall. You can, obviously, with the LSAT on Buried. A similar thing is on this map. I really don't actually need to be feeding the dragon here, but since I'm already here... I'm gonna spin the box. May as well give the dragon a little extra food in its tummy. Why not? I'm just a nice guy like that. So, without further ado, we're gonna pop these bad boys. 
and just pray that we get the four LMGs we need. Although one of them, like I said, if we don't get it from the box, not a big deal. All right, well, we got one of them. This is a repeat. The RPK is actually way better in this game. Pretty much every repeat. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. You gotta die, you gotta die. All right, uh, every repeat in Black Ops 3 is pretty much better. I just totally ruined the surprise here. I'm trading that out <laughs> for reasons you'll find out soon. Yeah, all right, that's better. I was more concerned with getting that and hopefully a gorgon or a dredge not a fucking rpk i love it but no so in order to get this secret super duper secret brm wall by you have to like walk on these panels i don't even know if there's a certain order for this or not i think that's it let's make sure to not trade in our dingo ah oh, it's right up here somewhere yeah it's right there can't reach it now though the dingo is my favorite definitely the best lmg in this game fucking phenomenal it's actually super lightweight kind of feels like an ar like a small smg with a eh, not a ton of ammo in the mag admittedly but it definitely makes up for it it is zero recoil ton of ammo yet very light it's like the ppsh of lmgs it's just super well-rounded i wonder how much this is i forget 1800 all right and you can just constantly rebuy ammo with an lmg on the wall that's pretty fucking cool all right so this is the brm it's a lot of like the other two are a little more interesting to put it lightly none of them are particularly bad although the argument could certainly be presented Path on this map is super easy that's also what i love about it and then the blight oblivion and the camos are pretty fucking cool honestly though dark matter might be just better i don't know here we go. Uh, uh, grab it, grab it. Oh, no, I'm wedged, I'm wedged. So this is pretty epic, but the dingo is... It's better. Dingo's definitely better. By the way, I don't actually know that for a fact, so please don't fact check me, you science nerds, you stat fucking nerds. Oh, oh, Gorgon! Gorgon! All right, now we need the dredge. Yes, all right, cool. Now we're gonna put an end to you. The dredge is a six-round burst. Six-round burst. Whoever fucking thought of that just elevated mindset right there I, I i don't know what they were thinking it's a tr tremendous waste of ammo to be completely honest but the damage is there the damage is there there's a lot of ammo but you end up wasting a lot of it kill one zombie use six bullets even though you probably only need one or two right <laughs> it's actually not bad for camping if you're just staying put it's just a very very hunky dory lmg i don't even know if that's like a, a real word or not and then the gorgon not a lot of ammo it is pretty powerful i'll give it that you really can't even move all that well with it it's definitely a camping gun if there ever was one you upgrade it becomes athena's speed are you the last one maybe yeah this is the last one all right well get gorgon bitch all right and to top it all off we are on nine on black ops four do we need to do challenges absolutely not but whatever we've got five lmgs to upgrade in this game one of them is on the wall that being the titan the rest of them are exclusively in the box i'm pretty sure although i could be wrong the hades tiger shark vkm 750 and the zvhinder is that actually how you pronounce it i don't know it's german it's hard to pronounce anything german I'm on custom mutations. I only have I uh, you, you extra credit. Okay, that's my uh, mega elixir. And uh, the only difference from this to a regular game is that there are only LMGs. Those are the only ones I can use, other than I guess this handgun I spawn in with. And I guess you can get handguns in this game, even though you set it to only LMGs, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess handguns aren't their own class. They, they don't deserve the credit, you know what I mean? They're, they're second class citizens. I guess I chose this map because we already played five. I didn't want to run classified back again for the third time. That map's getting a little bit stale. I want to keep it on a launch map, though, because launch maps are definitely easiest for the weapons because a lots of them are only on... The launch maps are at least more accessible on the wall that way. On some real shit, how terrifying must it be to have an actual tiger chasing after you? A zombie tiger. Now, this next LMG, we can actually buy on the wall here. It's the Titan. It is 3,750 points. It is a meaty fucking wall buy. Really expensive, so it better be worth it, right? Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna bust the smith right here and right now. This will actually tie us over for quite a bit. That's quite a bit of ammo. All right, we got mule kick. This will, of course, allow us to have three guns, but the modifier 
lets us keep them if we do happen to down, which is always nice. So we're going to spin the box here after we build a shield and get PAP open. And then the rest of the game is pretty much spinning the box. We'll get some fire sails from the crowd. That'll help speed things up. Ah! He spawns, dude. All right, we got the Hades. That's another nice pickup. These two are probably... Uh, I don't know exactly. These are my favorite to use. They might not be the best statistically. I don't see why we can't just upgrade these right off the rip. We have enough, so we'll get these two done. And that leaves us with three more. They are all in the box still, so... That's what we're going to be doing for for the rest of the game. If I could just talk. For the for the rest of the g g game. Jesus, Tim. I think they only hand out one of these per round. Well, that's good. Let's go capitalize on this. Let's go get three LMGs back to back to back. What are the odds? All right. Well, we got one of them. VKM. Tiger Shark. Oh, my God. Is it going to happen? For realsies? Oh, God. This thing is a piece of shit. Tiger sure. Okay, we, we didn't get it that time. All right, we're going to whip out the good old VKM for its insane rate of fire. Damage is... Ah, not good enough. Yeah, this is pretty fucking ass, if I do say so myself. Let's try out the Tiger Shark. Kind of a smaller one. Not as much in the mag. Way more mobile. All right, before the round starts, I'm going to throw in the Tiger Shark because it could use a little bit of improvement here for damage. And then we'll get enough for the VKM. I'm probably not going to use the VKM, like, at all, because it's just garbage. Oh, and I know I have to say this pretty much every single time we do this challenge. And it's annoying. I'm not going to be papping them five fucking times in a row for the full effect. Full double tap effect, that is. Because, I mean, it doesn't really change the natural ability of it. Put this in. That's what she said. Take that. Mm, it's red. My blood. Oh, we got it! This this Zwee Hunter. Yay! I remember using this in Blackout more than zombies ever. Oh, this is a really cool round to have this on, too. So this one is different from all the other guns in this game. The rest of them kind of look futuristic. This one looks like a throwback World War One gun. I could be wrong about that, but it look well now it looks like a green pile of shit. But it, it looks like a really old style throwback gun, and it's not so bad. It has a ton of ammo, a ton in the mag. 300 of the mag is a delight. Nice little iron sight. Mm. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Again, let me know in the comments what weapons class you would like tackled next. We are not doing Cold War yet. I'm going to do one big finale video at the end of this series going over all of the guns. I don't have all of them unlocked at the moment. A lot of them are DLCs, so we'll take the time, make an entire separate video for all of that of all classes and upgrade them all the way. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Peace out.